a few important 10 Unix commands which are uh, used in the uh, daily basis. So it's uh, going to be very useful uh, as part of development, initial development or ATL development or Unix uh, scripting development or probably uh, in the production support systems. Okay, whenever we are supporting or we are browsing the Unix file system or Linux file system. So in those all cases, uh, we can use these commands. So first command is tor command. So tor command, uh, the tor, uh, tor file or a um, tor ball, if you say. So it's a kind of a, um, uh, a file, you know, it's a set of files which we are combining. So it's a combined and compressed file. So, so dot tor is a, is a kind of a file which consists of many other files. And if we compress it, then it becomes the uh, compressed tor files, okay. So then the options are would be like tar, you know, options and then uh, archive file name and file to be archived. So we can archive and archive, uh, uh, you know, uh, archive or unarchive from the tar, uh, tar command itself. So let's see, I mean, there are some examples. If we specify x, uh, so the x, z, b, f option. And uh, if we specify, let's say my files, I'm specifying that tar dot gz so this is uh, going to be a uh, you know created and uh, my folder name let's say my files so the the folder is there in the current directory my files and i'm going to create or i can give the other absolute path of this folder okay and i'm going to create this at all wall in a, a particular current directory okay so uh, so this is uh, x means uh, Sorry, this is not going to create, this is going to be extract the tor ball, okay. So let's say I'm going to extract this tor ball, uh, specify, uh, if, if I do not specify anything, so within the current directory, this, uh, you know, getting are extracted. So X is for extract, Z is for compressed, and V for verbose printing, and F for files. So these are the you know extension of the I mean, meaning of these options. Okay, so whatever uh, you know different files I have in my files, uh, this star will be you know displayed over here or unarchived. Okay. Now let's say if I specify tar and uh, you know uh, maybe uh, with the C options I can move this uh, the content of this you know. Unarchive to particular, let's say, uh, directory of test. So, let's say um, DAR test is another, you know, that folder will be wherein I want to, you know, place all those unarchive files, then I can do using this. Okay. So, let's talk about uh, how to create the, you know, uh, so before that, I have one more command uh, TBF. If I specify and I specify the tor ball, then it's go not going to be a you know uh, extract the file, but uh, it will it will is going to be view the files. You know, so you can view the files what are there in uh, star ball TBF. You specify TBF. So if you want to create the tor ball, is uh, from tars you use the C C for creation C Z B F. All other options are same while uh, while extracting C Z B F and uh, my Let's say I am need to create this star ball and you know to specify the path. Let's say dar uh, s2. So all the files which are there in that dar s2, all the files will be placed in this star ball compressed format. So let's move on to the next command. So I have already created a video for source command. So I'm not going to discuss the source command. So it's a, you know a ongoing. Uh, Within the script, we can call source uh, any script. So it's not going to create uh, you know any other other uh, child cell, but all the content would be you know available in the particular ongoing cell. Okay. So with that, uh, you can go ahead and see the you know, very explanatory uh, you know source command I have created already. So the mount command is for uh, <clears throat> so to use any particular. Uh, you know, device let's say a storage system maybe pen drive or you know any other hard disk drive or any other external uh, you know file system we need to mount that file system into our unix server then only we could access that 
so that the the by default file system comes with the operating system you know uh, uh, whenever we uh, install any linux or unix system then there will be you know different directories comes in uh, automatically but on top of that if we want to uh, uh, mount any let's say any hard drive or any you know external devices like uh, maybe a disk or maybe pen drive or some some other you know uh, archive tape drive then we need to uh, mount the you know space from those drive to or directory from or linux directory or probably uh, the file system could be placed in other server then you know we can uh, oh, you know open the ports open the firewall uh, from our server uh, this linux server to the other server and those file system can be mounted in our file system so that you know both the users you know can access so this kind of these kind of uh, you know uh, commands are useful wherein uh, wherein we are you know we are want to communicate with the two file systems let's say uh, from two data centers okay so this is going to be very very uh, useful okay the spread command is again a very important command let's say we have a huge files which is containing let's say a thousands of files thousands of number of lines and we want to you know break down uh, the files in the number of 200 let's say my file is you know thousand lines and i want to break uh, it in five files of 200 each so what is going to happen is uh, so i am going to specify the base book file name is a data append so uh, how many files would be created 200 each you know a b and this c and d and e so these files are going to be created okay and similarly if we want to specify the size in uh, bytes then 100 kilobytes right so if i uh, have a one uh, you know uh, mb files and i have to specify this then uh, let's say it's a 2k So five files are going to be created, right? Uh, so for that, uh, five files of each, you know, two hundred KB are going to be created like this. So whenever we are, uh, you know, uh, try to process a huge data, so we want to split the data and uh, try to process the, you know, chunk of a particular data. Then we use the split command. And this is again a useful command, uh, df and du. So df is, uh, you know, this free space. It's going to give. So if we specify df, uh, okay, so it's going to give our uh, the you know uh, it's going to the free space you know used space and the free space available in within the in 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 the blocks the size of blocks okay it could okay and uh, for the the particular you know drive drives actually okay so for each and uh, every drive it's going to give the space you know. the mount the mounting place let's say mounted on the drive particular mounted on there and uh, the space in block mounted other uh, field would be um, size in size in blocks and another bit would be uh, used or free space probability or use space in percentage and like you know this kind of you know, statistics is going to give so if we specify a total free space you know then df hyphen hyphen total if we give then uh, so total space which is available so it's going to be um, uh, be, 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 be displayed okay for entire file system okay now we have disk uses so disk uses is very important command uh, okay So this is going to give you know if you want to monitor the disk uh, uses by particular user or by or a particular uh, you know directory. So we can specify like this uh, du hyphen d one d is for level of. Uh, so whenever we specify this directory, so all the uh, the current this directory and also the child directory would be displayed in uh, one by one, uh, and the disk uses of particular and this directory and child directory also. Displaced. If you specify C, then child directory also going to be displaced, and hyphen F H in the sense of human readable format, okay? not a blocks and all. So it's going to be uh, specified as ZB or you know, uh, MB. Okay, and if you give the du hyphen A, then all the directory and the child will be are given. Okay, 
so these are the important uh, disk uses and disk free commands and then scd command is very quick actually so if you want to delete all the file which has this pattern pattern let's say uh, some i want to specify let's say some string let's say um, i want to remove all the file which has uh, you know uh, which has exclude in exit in in the line so you know, if this pattern is there in particular line of the file name dot dfc so the line would be deleted from the file name dot okay so this uh, you remember that the seed operation is going to be on upon this one so the change is happening in the in the file itself okay now if you want to uh, try the operation i want uh, from the line number 2 to end of the file so you know that uh, dollar specify is the end of the file right so it will begin from the line number 2 and uh, it will be stopping at end of the file and uh, is going to unix is going to be changed by linux in read file dot txt okay and o command so whenever wherever the uuid is there then print that line so etc first step if this is a file, so if there is an UUID, then it's going to be printed entire line out. Now, if finger dev, so finger command is used to uh, display the logged in users, the details of logged in user, what is the you know user uh, uh, name and what is the name of exact name of the particular user, and you know uh, and the timelines whenever. You, how much time the particular user has been idle or when this particular user has been logged in and some and some other information so whenever uh, i want to see uh, about if a particular person let's say david i want to see the david if it is if this guy is logged in or not so okay i can see that now it's a very important command uh, is coming in uh, which is the 10th command so how we uh, you know uh, how we email any particular attachment using the unix command and also we prepare the body and the subject line and the attachment so all the things we are going to understand over here so we want to use the malex command so i have prepared the body of the body of the this one okay body of the this uh, email so in that body what is going to happen is i need to specify ego hyphen e and hi there then there is a new line then please find the text cache transaction report for here this one and here so maybe here is some some variable in the some script so let's say i have a you know, larger script and this is a you know part of that larger script at end of this end of the script i'm going to send you know email attachment to these many people so okay which are specified in the particular email list of txt let's say there are two people so i am going to send okay then i prepare the body of the of the email and then i am pipeline i am going to uh, place this entire into the this pipeline and then again i have malex command and malex command and i am going to subject line is going to be a uh, you know sub i can enlarge this thing subject uh, you know uh, Let's say uh, um, cash transaction report, cash transaction report. This is going to my subject line, and then hyphen A is for attachment. So, this entire file, which is XML file, okay, on yearly basis. This file, you assume that we have already prepared as part of our script or probably by other program, and I'm going to send all this attachment. This email list, okay. So, how this is how we you know we specify this email command it is also very useful. Uh, no? Okay, with that, uh, we have understood uh, you know these 10 more important commands in this uh, session. So, I'm going to go ahead, uh, I'm going to come up with uh, very important uh, other commands as well in my following sessions. Okay, please subscribe my channel and uh, you know you can share this with other. So these are very practical commands basically. We are going to touch upon uh, those, those practical commands on daily basis, whether with respect to development or with respect to you know any server support. Okay, thank you.